Welcome everybody to the channel. Welcome. Um, I need anybody new. You're welcome. Um, out today on location, uh, my dogging spot for dogs. Um, yes, one or two new people have arrived. Thank you very much for subscribing. It's uh, very well appreciated, obviously, to get my channel the message across on my channel about the BBC and um, what they get up to, and um, of course, all the best ways how to become license free. Many videos done now and trying to uh, get the message across how simple it is, folks. <clears throat> After yesterday's um, announcement by the BBC, I'm gonna create a um, drama by employing uh, people to make a TV series or drama about Jimmy Savile. I'm still complimenting this. I'm trying to get my head around it because uh, obviously <clears throat> to me it's still a very, very um, delicate and touchy sub subject for people who've gone through a traumatic situation with him and other people affected by um, paedophilia. Myself included really because I've had an, in some respects uh, gone through it um, as, as a uh, well <clears throat> I won't want to go into detail but <clears throat> how it affects people um, affects people different ways traumatic experiences and of course you know um, everybody has their own way of dealing with it uh, in my particular case it was uh, a personal thing that um, happened um, I don't want to go into details on my YouTube channel about it it's not what I'm here for I'm here to understand about the BBC and what they're trying to do and to me it looks like you know looking at it it's going to be uh, an exercise in um, what they would call it um, damage and limitation how to make the BBC come out of it rosy rosy clean and uh, another ploy to uh, BBC to sort of get the image across um, which has been taunted over the years by this whole Savile affair um, Rolf Harris um, Stuart Hall other people who work for the BBC, other people uh, have been connected with the BBC, mis mis misuse of um, whatever they want to call it, um, of uh, where the BBC operate and the tactics they've used to get either get programmes made or, you know, various things that the BBC get up to with your TV licensing money, how they waste it. So um, that is what. Um, it's about really um, still trying to get my head round something that they want to bring up um, to make a prog TV program o over a drama uh, when still people are still affected by it until you've actually gone through this the 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 part of it uh, how it affects affects you it um, it can have effects that you know you, you get traumatized by it by being with other people who are involved in it and of course as a side issue it does affect you in uh, some capacity like you know and um, it's not very nice to go through it all so the BBC don't really care about that situation that uh, how it might affect other people who've gone through a paedophile trauma who've gone through the um, some innocent people as well, you know, families and friends and everybody else. I mean, even Savile, although he's a total paedophile, has got family, people totally innocent around him, and of course they're they're the people as well who who have got um, tarnished by the same brush kind of thing. So there is people, you know, get how can I put it? They get. Um, contaminated by other people's actions uh, whether they're good or bad actions they do so that is the problem with it that's the problem with the with the um, it's an inappropriate time to make a video or documentary video or a TV drama about a, a, a person who worked for the BBC who was just manipulative 
one of the worst criminals, paedophile criminals ever. And to make a film about him, it doesn't seem to be um, appropriate at this present time when it's still going on in certain areas of the, of the country where they're trying to stamp it out. And um, it just seems inappropriate. So that's my, that's my um, thoughts on it. And I've obviously left it open to you to decide, make some comments. And uh, I thank you for all the comments you've made about it. Um, so that's my... Um, thoughts on the situation that it's still something that they they shouldn't be doing and it's just typical of the BBC they just really public relations are just completely um, out of touch with the common people they're on their own gravy train and they always will be till the public just says no thank you very much so that's the problem with the BBC they just got their own agenda they don't care about public opinion what people think they just don't really care all they care about is trying to keep the BBC squeaky clean and try and keep it you know repair damage what they've done in the past that's what the whole exercise is about I mean that's what it's all in my opinion that's what it's about um, you know, sort of independent people could make a documentary about it, a film about it, and uh, that would be the be best way. To have it, to have it in the BBC to make a programme about their own dirty washing um, doesn't cut down very well with me, I'm afraid, and anybody else. So I hope you agree with me. It's um, something that um, isn't going to wash with me anyway. And of course, if you've been affected by uh, paedophilia, it is a long term plan. A long term snark plan, it's a long term uh, endurance that you have to live with the rest of your life, and uh, it has consequences which people have to live with on a day to day basis. So, I hope I've made my point about the Savile situation. Um, I think it's totally inappropriate, totally out of uh, order completely. And um, as I said, it's still, still a raw point in my, in my mind, and of course. It has a personal um, thing as well, uh, not me involved with anything to do with Savile, but people in the same sort of situation who contacted me and stuff, and uh, I've been through it all on a different different um, aspect of it, either through counselling and everything else, and it's still, still uh, a thing that you have to come to terms with. So I'm going to leave it there, folks, and um, I'll uh, get back to you on the next one. and. Um, um, you know, I'll, I'm just really, <laughs> I don't know what to say, what to say about, about BBC. What more can you say about these people who just, you know, want to make programmes? <clears throat> Is it the right programme? In my opinion, no. <clears throat> History will decide what happened to Savile. He should have it. his OBE and everything else, his knighthood was stripped off him completely and just be an ordinary person who was a criminal, a mass criminal and they worked actually for the BBC and they employed him as a criminal and they knew, it, knew, knew he was a criminal so that's the, that's the, the thing folks, that's what I'm uh, trying to get across BBC employed him <clears throat> and they, they knew what he was up to and they did nothing about it anyway folks, I'm going to leave it there and I will see you on the next one bye now